Hey everyone, Peter here with Living in Ottawa and in this video we're going to deep dive into the top five neighborhoods to live in in Ottawa. These neighborhoods are chosen on quality of life, access to services and generally ongoing continual value of these properties that you can find in these neighborhoods. They're actually the most popular, most hottest neighborhoods over the long time frame. So stay tuned. The Glebe. The Glebe is located just south of Ottawa's downtown area. The Glebe is home to Lansdowne Park, which contains TD Place Stadium, where Ottawa's Canadian Football League CFL football team, the Ottawa Red Blacks, play. The area has such a wide variety of residents and businesses, making it an eclectic mix of a community. So one of the great improvements that actually happened to the Glebe is actually this great walking bridge which comes across. It actually connects Glebe to the old Ottawa East. And these two neighbors have merged. In fact, old Ottawa East has been booming now on Main Street where they've actually brought in brand new shops, restaurants. I was down there last week, had a fantastic uh, caf uh, coffee with the family. So it was wonderful. So it was really merging these wonderful two neighborhoods and the walking opportunities are abundant now. One of the great things about the Glebe is all these side streets where we have art decor throughout. They've actually really taken advantage of these back alleys and added some nice personality. And that's the thing about the Glebe. You can actually get lost in these backtrack areas, small little houses, shared laneways, but it's got a real urban feel. So once you get off the beaten track, it's nice and quiet. You can hear the birds, you can go by the canal, or you can enjoy the downtown feeling at the same time. So Hindenburg has been going through some major gentrification over the years. You know, about 10 years ago, this area was pretty gritty and a lot of people weren't really considering this place a, a great spot to live. But of course, you know, now with the gentrification, with new shops like the Bridgehead Coffee here, as well as a lot of nice boutique pubs and, and cafes, it's really started to change. A different element of people are coming in now. There's still a really good mix of rentals as well as long-term residences. But it is a great, fantastic mix. This is a real gritty feel to this neighborhood. It feels a lot like, a, almost like a New York City in Ottawa because it's got the 100 year old architecture of the homes with their brick facades. And then you got some post-World War II homes that are infills. And now you got some modern builds that are coming in as well. Two story, three story builds that are just fantastic. You got a few high rises and you'll start to see a lot more of that as well. And this neighborhood has the main strip which is Wellington Street, offers so many boutique restaurants, uh, outings for, for nighttime activities. So it really has become uh, the hot, hot neighborhood of Ottawa. Whereas before 10 years ago, it was very different. Now, because of that, housing prices have skyrocketed and it's been a considerable change to this neighborhood. In fact, great traffic here on the main drag as we walk along. North of Wellington, we have Mechanicsville, which was a much more unique neighborhood, smaller lot sizes, uh, homes that were in, uh, some homes in desperate need of TLC, other ones were in great shape. And then south of Wellington, we have the actual Hintonburg neighborhood itself that borders all the way up to the Queensway. So it's been a fantastic neighborhood and great change. The people that have lived here for the last 10 years have certainly benefited from the housing prices going up. And because the housing prices have gone up, so was rent. And that's really had a big impact on a lot of people. So here we are in Westboro, one of the top five neighborhoods in the city of Ottawa. This is a great neighborhood. You can tell by the architecture behind me that there's so many new builds that are happening in the city and in this particular area for sure. This area has grown immensely over the last 10 to 15 years with construction happening, which is great because they're really building the infrastructure around this place to take on so many new things. In fact, I love this neighborhood so much, I've lived here twice, which is great because I know the neighborhood inside and out and it is so much to offer for the young family or the working professional. And we'll give you some more information. So here we are in Sandy Hill. Actually, we're on the cusp of Sandy Hill neighborhood, just starting from Rideau Street in, and this is the University of Ottawa. In fact, this neighborhood has so much to offer to the families that live here. They have the Rideau Center, they have Rideau Street, they have the University of Ottawa, they have access to transportation and the canal. In fact, it has a rating of 89 for walking. 
which is great because the city overall is actually 45. And actually, Ottawa is the eighth most walkable city in all of Canada, which is great. Sandy Hill has so much different types of architecture as well. Historical plus modern infills that are happening in the city. It's a great spot. Real eclectic mix too of renters as well as working professionals. And the great thing about this is the location. Right beside the canal, right beside the Reno Center, right beside downtown, right beside the Byward Market. It actually has a rating score of 90 for biking and the rest of the city is sitting around a 60. So that's a fantastic benchmark. It really is well connected and it's a great neighborhood. But we have to go to our next neighborhood. So stay tuned. Well, hello and welcome to beautiful New Edinburgh, actually just located in the east end of Ottawa, a short distance from downtown. So it's far enough away that it's nice and quiet with private, beautiful streets like this, but still actually very close for wonderful downtown access. This area is so well located that it has a wonderful walk-in score of 88 compared to the overall city's 45 walk-in score. And the city being located where it is with water access, and shopping access has a wonderful biking score of 73 compared to the city's 60, which is just wonderful for the people that will live here, work here, and play here. Well, there you have it, the top five neighborhoods in the city of Ottawa to live in. Honestly, we get so many people reaching out to us that we relocate in Ottawa or across Canada, and we absolutely love it. If you're thinking about making a move, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or across Canada. And every week we're delivering brand new videos that actually touch on every neighborhood of Ottawa. So feel free to tap that subscribe button and click the little bell so you're notified each and every time we do a new video. Until next time, take care.